Hey there, this is Mike over at uh, BTS Crank Parts, and I wanted to make a quick video about a topic that uh, comes up a lot, actually. Uh, and we're actually going to do a video, uh, sort of step-by-step -step video on this, so kind of look for that coming in the future. But for now, I just wanted to do this real quick. On uh, So the issue is adding um, or removing a sensor from the, the Trimble GS550. Uh, and so we get a lot of calls and a lot of emails about this. So... Uh, what I've taken here, this is actually off the uh, out of the manual, the GS550 installation manual on page 35. So in uh, the description and uh, on the page, I'm going to actually have a link where you can just actually download the uh, the manual. Uh, there'll be a digital copy there, and then you can get the whole thing and have this. But anyway, this is pretty much the straightforward uh, procedure. One of the things that is not on here, which is, again, a question that comes up all the time, is it may ask for a three-digit code. Um, that code is going to be AZA, -A, Alpha Zulu Alpha, um, to add or remove these sensors. And so pretty much a uh, straightforward process as far as going through it, um, you know, just scrolling down to find an empty space um, uh, for the, uh, to put the sensor. What you are going to need is the uh, ID um, from the sensor. So a lot of times we have people who, you know, go in to do this and, and they have it on their A2B switch, is, A2B switch, which is mounted at the boom tip. And so they have no idea what the ID is uh, or the angle sensor. So um, anyway, the, the ID is going to be etched into um, whatever the sensor is uh, on the on the A2B switch. It will be on the front where the lettering is. The angle sensor has it on top and all the sensors will have have the ID. So you'll need that, that ID number and that will be what you'll put in. And that's what, um, you know, tells the, uh, the computer um, the display, the GS550 display, what uh, is going to be uh, connecting. So anyway, so uh, I won't go through all the steps. It's pretty straightforward. You know, you can read it yourself, ourselves. Uh, and then this uh, section is on removing a sensor. Uh, sometimes when you change the batteries, um, the sensor disconnects, even though it's still listed in the sensor list. And so uh, you actually can remove it and then add it again, and um, that fixes that issue. So, um, but uh, again, we'll do another video on that whole process a little bit later. Anyway, hope hope it's uh, helpful. This is Mike uh, over at BTS Crane Parts. If you have any uh, questions, feel free to call. We're always available. 303-433-8878 is the direct number for us. All right.